California's Biggest Dam Disaster In February 2017, California experienced one of its most catastrophic dam disasters in history, the Oroville Dam Crisis. Located in Butte County, the Oroville Dam stood as the tallest dam in the United States and an essential piece of infrastructure, providing water supply, hydroelectric power, and flood control to millions of residents. However, a series of unprecedented events unfolded, leading to a near-catastrophic failure that threatened the safety of downstream communities and highlighted critical issues surrounding dam safety and maintenance. The Birth of the Oroville Dam The idea of constructing the Oroville Dam was conceived in the early 1950s as part of the California State Water Project SWP. The primary objective was to harness water resources and manage the state's water supply, especially in drought-prone regions. The dam's construction began in 1961, and by 1968, it was completed, creating Lake Oroville, the second-largest reservoir in California. The dam's critical role in water supply, power generation, and flood control made it a vital asset for the state. Early Warning Signs In the years leading up to the disaster, signs of wear and tear on the Oroville Dam were evident. Reports of structural problems, seepage through the dam's foundation, and erosion of the emergency spillway were raised by dam safety experts and concerned citizens. However, the significance of these warning signs was underestimated, and necessary maintenance and repairs were delayed, raising concerns about the dam's long-term stability. The Perfect Storm In early 2017, California experienced record rainfall due to a series of atmospheric river events, saturating the region with water. Lake Oroville quickly filled to capacity, putting immense pressure on the dam and its spillways. On February 7, 2017, the main spillway, tasked with releasing excess water from the reservoir, suffered severe erosion, creating a massive crater that further jeopardized the dam's structural integrity. Engineers tried to manage the situation by using the emergency spillway, but it too began to erode, intensifying the crisis. Evacuation and Crisis Management The sudden threat of the Oroville Dam's failure led to a mandatory evacuation order for approximately 188,000 residents living downstream. The evacuation process was chaotic, and the authorities faced numerous challenges in coordinating a swift and orderly evacuation. The crisis management efforts involved local, state, and federal agencies working together to mitigate the risk and stabilize the dam. Repair and Recovery with the immediate threat contained, authorities and engineers began the arduous task of repairing the damaged spillways and assessing the overall condition of the Oroville Dam. The repair efforts were complex and expensive, with a price tag of over $1 billion. The disaster reignited the debate on the importance of investing in dam safety and infrastructure maintenance to prevent similar crises in the future. Lessons Learned and Dam Safety Reforms the Oroville Dam crisis served as a wake-up call for California and the entire nation regarding the need for comprehensive dam safety measures and reforms. The incident shed light on the lack of proactive maintenance and the importance of heeding early warning signs. In response to the disaster, California enacted new legislation to enhance dam safety inspections, allocate funding for repairs and upgrades, and improve communication and coordination during emergencies. Restoring Confidence and Rebuilding Trust Rebuilding confidence in the Oroville Dam and the state's broader water infrastructure required transparency, accountability, and proactive measures. Authorities engaged in extensive public outreach and communication to keep residents informed about the ongoing safety measures and the progress of the repair efforts. Restoring trust in dam safety necessitated a collaborative effort involving engineering expertise, governmental oversight, and public participation. The Path Forward as the Orville Dam underwent repairs and safety upgrades, California and other states across the country reflected on the potential vulnerabilities of their own dams and infrastructure. The incident spurred a nationwide reassessment of aging dams and the need for a comprehensive approach to infrastructure maintenance, particularly in regions susceptible to extreme weather events and changing climate patterns. A Global Perspective on Dam Safety the Oroville Dam Crisis garnered international attention and sparked discussions about dam safety and risk management on a global scale. Many countries around the world rely on dams for water supply, electricity generation, irrigation, and flood control. The disaster in California prompted governments, engineers, and international organizations to reevaluate the safety of existing dams and enhance standards for the construction and maintenance of future projects. 
Innovations in Dam Safety Technology In the aftermath of the Orville Dam crisis, engineers and researchers intensified efforts to develop innovative technologies to enhance dam safety. Advancements in sensor technology, real-time monitoring systems, and predictive analytics have allowed dam operators to detect early signs of structural issues and potential failures. These innovations have significantly improved the ability to identify risks and take timely preventive actions. Balancing environmental concerns While dams play a crucial role in water resource management, they also have significant environmental impacts. The Oroville Dam Crisis highlighted the need for a more balanced approach to water infrastructure development, considering the ecological consequences. Governments and stakeholders worldwide have been exploring alternatives, such as nature-based solutions and sustainable water management strategies, to minimize the environmental footprint of dams. Investing in Resilience The Oroville Dam Crisis emphasized the importance of investing in the resilience of critical infrastructure to withstand natural disasters and changing climatic conditions. Governments and stakeholders recognize the need for strategic planning, risk assessments, and robust disaster preparedness measures. Building resilience into dam design and operations has become a top priority to safeguard communities and valuable resources. International Collaboration on Dam Safety The scale of the Orville Dam Crisis demonstrated that dam safety is not limited by national borders. It called for increased international cooperation to share best practices, research, and technical expertise in dam safety. Organizations like the World Bank and the International Commission on Large Dams ICOD, have been instrumental in promoting global collaboration and knowledge exchange on dam safety and risk management. Public Awareness and Engagement The Orville Dam Crisis underscored the importance of public awareness and community engagement in dam safety. Transparent communication, public education, and involving communities in decision-making processes have become integral to building trust and support for dam-related initiatives. Governments and dam operators now prioritize community involvement to ensure that local concerns and insights are considered in infrastructure planning and management. The Orville Dam Crisis remains an indelible chapter in the history of dam safety and infrastructure management. The disaster exposed vulnerabilities and inefficiencies in dam operations but it also spurred transformative changes in how the world approaches dam safety. California's biggest dam disaster was a catalyst for increased investment in technology, transparency, and collaboration to ensure the safety and resilience of dams globally. The lessons learned from the Orville Dam Crisis have had far-reaching impacts, inspiring countries to reevaluate their water infrastructure, prioritize environmental sustainability, and enhance community engagement. As the world faces mounting challenges related to climate change, population growth and resource scarcity, the story of the Orville Dam Crisis serves as a reminder of the importance of responsible water management and the critical role of infrastructure in safeguarding communities and natural resources. So guys let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.